The Nurses uh, Educators Group, a uh, specialized group under the uh, Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, has commenced a series of industrial actions targeted at drawing the attention of the Ministry of Health to address issues relating to the payment of as many as nine different allowances. The group argues that their demand stems from the recent economic challenges which have uh, shot up the cost of leaving. So let's bring you a sense of what the demands are. Uh, and the group is first of all uh, pointing out uh, what they intend to do, starting with the fact that uh, the Nurses Educators Group, uh, which is a specialized group under the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, uh, made a request through the uh, communicate that is at the 20th of June 2020, at the end of its 2022 annual general meeting held at Sunyani, um, to uh, the Ministry of Health for a possible review of the following allowances um, and other related matters to. Um, the members of the group. Uh, so there's the script marking allowance, issues of care studies, uh, the research supervision allowance, practical assessment al allowance. Uh, we also have labor ward assessment allowance, uh, issues relating to invigilation, field and clinical supervision. There's also the um, area dealing with um, health talk supervision. And uh, the final one there is the research and book allowances. There are also uh, some more related matters that the group is pointing out. The issue of the review on the health training institutions, 30% reservation for approved admission quotas to the ministry. Uh, then there's also a demand from the group asking government to scrap a 34% gross of the interview proceeds paid to the Ministry of Health. But uh, the final leg of this has got to do with the nursing forms. Uh, the group is arguing that it should be sold to various health and training institutions, uh, but not the Ministry of Health. Now, these proceeds, uh, according to the group, could be used as internally generated funds in which uh, various institutions can use that to develop infrastructure and human resources uh, needs of the various um, nursing training colleges. So let's bring in John Paul Semanyo, Greater Accra Regional uh, Secretary of the Educators Group. Thank you so much, sir, for your time here on the polls. Uh, as many as nine different allowances. Uh, government is cashed up at the moment. I'm just wondering if uh, your demonstration and a series of industrial actions that you're about to start will yield any results. What do you think? Thank you very much for the time and thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I want to first of all say a very big thank you to the national executives and all regional executives for the work that they continue to do. Uh, it's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming. We appreciate and we understand the situation that, yes, uh, the current uh, economic issues on the ground have hit the length and breadth of Ghana. And yes, we understand that government uh, is cash trapped, if I'm allowed to say. But however, like I said, it's been long overdue. Just like you said uh, a while ago, all of those allowances that we are due uh, are allowances that our you know, national executives, in conjunction with the, uh, the president or leadership of our mother association, which is the GRNMA, they had the opportunity to sit with the, should I say, uh, yes, to the, to the ministry. And then the last time those allowances were reviewed was, on the, uh, was in 2015. Yeah, so in 2015, all to now, it's not like we were like, hey, happy all about the reviews back in the days, but mm. no, um, it's been a meager amount. Imagine, should I say, supervising a research work and then you've been paid a five chapter research work and been paid 18 CDs for that matter, a five chapter. Whereas our colleagues in the universities are being paid something close to nearly 300 to 500 Ghana cities, 80 cities, which is not even enough to even, you know, make you purchase uh, data for you to go into the literature review of this uh, care study and this project work, research works that our students write. So I, I believe that, I mean, it's high time government, you know, met our leaders and then uh, as you can see, I'm cluttered in all red. Yeah. And then uh, we'll, we'll talk about it shortly, uh, the demands uh, and the timelines you're giving to your industrial action. Uh, but then, uh, just recently, government announced uh, the payment of the cost of living allowances. It's something that 
uh, could make up for the nine different allowances that you're asking for, isn't it? Because uh, government is coming through, uh, I mean, considering the fact that we're in, not in normal times, government says we'll pay the cost of living allowances. So why then uh, pile up that demand and add on nine different allowances? Well, like I said a while ago, these allowances have been allowances that needed review a long ago, even before the, you know, the COLA, as you're saying, came up. Now, COLA is an issue today because of the current, you know, economic crisis that we find ourselves in. COLA doesn't just apply to nest educators across the country. COLA applies to everyone in all ministry or anyone who is being paid a controller general. That is the point. So this issue doesn't have to be, you know, aligned with COLA. I believe that these allowances need review and then government should take, you know, stringent measures and pragmatic measures to meet the leaders of, uh, you know, the next educators group so we can bring this issue to a finality. Like I said, we have been crying foul for a long while. We have suffered and then, you know, we see our colleagues in the other. It's not like what we do here is different from what our colleagues in, you know, maybe some universities do. Researching or uh, supervising case study or supervising research work is the same thing that we do. So why pay us less? A meager amount for that matter. And like you read from our communique, I believe that it has been spelled out. We made frantic measures or efforts or our national executives make frantic measures to meet you know, leadership of the ministry so we can you know, just arrest the issue. But I mean, all of it proved futile. That is why we are now pulling or rolling out the roadmap for you know, uh, nest educators across the country to you know, just make their voices heard so that government can hear our cry. And the sense I'm getting from your statement is that eventually, uh, you've started a series of uh, industrial um, actions that in the form of protest against what the, the delay in the payment of the nine separate allowances you're starting uh, in fact you started yesterday you continue through to today eventually you're seeking to withdraw your services what will reverse that decision well I, I believe that the, the very immediate thing that can reverse the decision is when like I said in my earlier statement when government take measures to you know have a roundtable discussion with the national executives so that, you know, uh, the discussions or our pleas could just be given some level of consideration, a high level for that matter. So, mm -hmm. net, in fact, Nest Educators Group is 44 years old. It was created in the year 1978 as an affiliate or, uh, uh, should I say, a subsidiary of the word GRNMA. So we train all the nurses and midwives that you, uh, you would ever come across in every corner of the country. For that matter, I think that it is only fair that government gives us, you know, should I say, maybe a tick in the margin and consider our work as important and, if possible, just hear our cry. I wish we could just go back to the statement um, you, you released um, and, and the number of demands you're making. Probably we could just bring the nine different... Uh, allowances that you are asking for some some very unconventional demands there maybe we'll just roll that on your screens right now and and bring you excerpts of the demand you're making take a look at it once more uh, you are asking for script marking allowance for instance you are also asking for health talk supervision allowance i mean what what kind of what kind of demand is this uh, with all due respect well, thank you, Bless. Um, these demands, uh, I, I just pray that you don't make little of these demands. Remember that I told you that these are things that our colleagues, or these activities, like you see, are things that are activities that our colleagues in the universities who particularly teach nursing. Do not forget that we have also nursing uh, department in right. the university. Mm -hmm. So, marking our script, care study research supervision, practical assessment, labor ward assessment, invigilation, and the lives. All of these, and the very last one, the research and book allowances, all of these are things that we do. But my brother... Yeah, but, but my, my, my point is, the majority yeah, of the I'm things you're listing, th this is why you're being paid, isn't it? For, uh, with exception to the issues of um, the research and book allowances, which we, uh, everyone is quite conversant with, the, the, the rest of the issues you are putting out there um, quite outrageous, isn't it? 
I, I, I beg to differ. They are just within the scope of what we we are due, all right? Yes, we are due those things, and they are not they are not out of reach for the government to. Yes, you can't. I, th I don't think it is right for you to say that. Allow me that these are things or activities that we are paid for naturally per our job description. No, yes, it is a part of it, but there are allowances that people in uh, a plethora of organizations take that already they are being paid for such. Yeah, if you're teaching in a nursing training college, uh, obviously you are expecting that they are at the end of um, maybe the semester, you are targeting to organize examinations. You'd have to mark the script, isn't it? Of course. We yeah, so that's why, that's why you are employed, isn't it? No doubt about that. I need to assess my students. But one fact that we cannot underestimate is that incentives, allowances. Why do people take, you know, court or suit allowance for a job that they are supposed to dress to go to? Bless? Why do people uh, well, take... <laughs> that's that's an interesting dimension to this. But but I mean, this is about examination. You set the questions, you are expecting answers. So if the answer is wrong, you simply tell the students, well, you didn't get this right. Why should we be giving you extra allowances for that? Yeah, because, and, and, uh, to, because a, a huge amount of time goes into the marking of these scripts. Mm. We are not just marking scripts in seconds. We sit behind scripts and mark over, you know, as, as many number of you know, students that we examine, we sit and then mark them. On top of those marking, we take time of our busy schedule to go do what we refer to as a clinical supervision. When the students are vacated and on the field, going and working, I mean, in the various hospitals, we are charged again to go around and make sure that what we have taught them in the classroom, they are exemplifying the same thing on the world. Where is the time? One person teaching in the class, one person, you know, marking or assessing students, and one person still leaving the office to go to the field to just make sure that the student is coming out to be an efficient and effectiveness. Bless, you think about that. Mm. Wouldn't you ask for an allowance if you were in my shoes or our shoes? Right, uh, I see. Uh, so let's talk about the timelines now. Uh, how much time does government have? I mean, looking at the, the communique you've issued out there. Right, so thank you. Yesterday we started off with the uh, the wearing of, uh, you know, uh, red bands and clothing ourselves in red. Um, this is supposed to span from the 11th through to the 17th of what, uh, August. I think that the next line of action, I would leave that for my... Uh, there is a roadmap, and I'm believe, yeah. I believe that, yes, we just leave, want to leave it at that. But the end point of it is for us to withdraw our, you know, services in the classroom. If we do not, as quickly as possible, hear the government, you know, speak to our issues and address them uh, as, as quick as possible. Yes. For instance, um, the issue about the labor ward assessment, what's that really? Right, so uh, as midwives, midwife students or midwives, nest, nest educators who teach the midwifery students would have to go to the, uh, to the ward to ensure that the, mid, the, nest, the students they are teaching, are, they are well vested to be able to deliver pregnant women should they, you know, be changed out of the school. So we need to, they need to assess those students at the labor ward so that they can be, the tutors can be sure that after completion, these students can deliver pregnant women in the various hospitals. So labor ward assessment, I hope you are educated. Right, there. right. Uh, and you know, some of the demands you are putting out there, th these are issues that uh, we've not been aware of. Uh, for, for how long have, has government been paying these allowances to you and, and what's the situation now? Is that they've totally stopped paying all of these nine categories of allowances. See, that is the that is the irony of this whole issue. Government does not pay these allowances to us. The job of government is just to determine the quota that we receive as allowances. Now that links the issue of the last two issues on our communicate. Right. So allowances must be paid to us by the school from internally generated funds. Mm. Think about it. Now if the school would not be allowed or would not be granted the opportunity to, uh, as you can see on our communique, maybe just, uh, just keep the 30% and the 34% quota of admission fees, uh, sorry, interview fees and then admission quota, 
Where then would the various schools, over 88 schools in the country, where then would they get the money to be able to pay we educators such amount? I don't know right. if you're getting my point clearly. Right, yeah. Mm. I, I get the point you're making. Uh, but then, beyond the IGF as well, you are saying part of the challenge has got to do with the approach of the ministry. Uh, for now, uh, per the arrangement, the Ministry of Health is responsible for selling the forms, the admission forms into the various um, nursing training colleges, which you have issues with because you believe that's one point where the colleges could raise money and then pay all of these allowances, right? Very true, correct. Uh, but how about the ministry's demand for some 34% retention of that allowance? I mean, all of the that, amounts that are being raised from, from the sales of the forms, the admission forms. Obviously, that, come back, that comes back to the point that, that I made, that if ministry wants to take that much, if ministry wants to take that much, which we are even thinking or suggesting that ministry scraps that amount, how then would the schools get the money to pay? If you think about it, 34%, when it goes to the ministry, ministry doesn't even send, it doesn't often send money for the development projects of what the various nursing training colleges. It is the schools themselves that are mandated, if I'm allowed, or I'm using the word carefully, like they, they have the prerogative to say that, okay, this development needs to happen in our school. That development needs to happen in our school. Unless we start something, unless maybe a project is begun, the government would come in to help. So why won't government just leave that much for the schools so that the schools, the various colleges, would be developed? So you want the forms to be printed by the nursing training colleges. Is that what you're asking for? Or the forms could be printed elsewhere and then given to you? I mean, because for now, uh, that's the approach even, for instance, the education ministry is ado adopting and a number of public institutions. Uh, when the, 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 the forms are out, you go grab the forms at any of the banks that are near you. But, but with this approach you are calling for, there may be some disruptions in the system, isn't it? I, I, I am honestly going to be frank with you. I am a regional secretary, and my jurisdiction only limits me to Greater Accra. They are national executives. I wish you were asking the national you know, executives these questions, but I think that this is something I can pass on. I believe they are also watching. So if there is uh, an appropriate answer to that, I believe that maybe they will they'll try to gather the answer and then maybe call on you to give you the right answers to that. Okay. But I believe a way forward is for government to just hear the cry mm. of what nest educators across the country who have been given mega who have been given mega allowances over the past years. It high time the government heard our cry. Anyway. Let's have it here for now. We'll definitely uh, get back to you by next week to see if your timelines uh, and your demands will be met.